Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to change all of this lot into a nice sort of a risotto or my take on a risotto. I'm not using the proper rice and I ain't going to faff around but what you get at the end is basically a risotto passe. So ingredients are simple, onion, leek, mushrooms, chicken from Sunday dinner, yeah, mixed herbs and rice with a few bits and bobs added in. So it's not hard, nothing I'm going to do on this channel is hard. There might be a bit of prep involved like that, you don't need anyone to cut that crap off. But it's not hard. And all we're going to do, teaspoon of mine, just to start it off. We won't need loads. <coughs> and thank you to my lovely assistant for doing the camera work today, it's the wife. Say hi Lisa. Oh, you speak. Hi. Thank you. You get your bum down, you. Cats are all over because of the chicken. So, I'm going to put the chicken over here. Out of the way, at least I might see you then. A little so and so's. Right, into this. Once it's melted. You focus more on the pan, by the way, not you. That's fine. Good. Okay, well, I've got an armrest here. Hmm? I've got an armrest. So into that, all we're going to do is put the onions and the leek and just fry them off a little bit. And while they're frying them off, I'm going to add a few herbs. So start for garlic. Lazy. Oh yes. Can't beat a bit of that in here. Don't mind a bit of lazy garlic. So a bit of garlic. I'm also going to put granules, granules in. Don't ask me why. I just am. Because that's, that's what I do. Like I said, you'll find I'll use this stuff a lot. Oregano. Mixed herbs. I'm going to put a bit of thyme in as well. Not much, just a bit. Add some tarragon, I'll probably put a bit of tarragon in. Right, they're starting to soften off. And now what I'm going to do is put some rice in. And I'm not using anything fancy or out like that. It's basically long grain rice. That's all I'm using. I'm not going to buy this Arborio stuff or whatever it is. I'm using normal rice. So it's not as if you have to buy expensive. How much are these? A packet? 50 pence, 70 pence, something like that. 70 pence out of these one kilo. You're amazing. I think. It does the job. At the end of the day, you're cooking a rice dish. You don't have to be like super fantastic. Now this is going to be for about three or four people, so I'm going to need a bit more rice than that. Not much more, but we will need a little bit more. Okay. So all we're looking for here is for the rice to start changing colour. Once the rice has all changed colour, so it's starting to go brown. Yeah, basically all that means is the rice has opened up a little bit because of the heat. So it'll let the liquid in a bit more. So it doesn't matter what type of rice you get. Now I've been using just normal rice all the time. I've never used a proper rice to do this. I've only ever used just normal long grain rice. Because the wife's a cheapskate and won't buy the expensive stuff. Well, it's not, it's not a case of that. It's a case of basically we use it. We're not just going to buy one rice to do one dish. We buy a rice that we can do everything. So if we want to do rice with a curry, we can. If we want to do anything else, we've got the rice to do it. You know what I mean? So it's not just about that for me anyway. Right. In here, we have some hot water. And all I'm going to do 
is my famous vegetable stock cube and a chicken stock cube which you saw me if you see me first video you would have seen I use these well that was a chicken one this is a veg one how do I know because of the colour so there you go that's the end there put it in the Never watch a nugget. Now don't worry about this not being altogether dissolved, we'll say, because basically it's going to go in that and cook. So all of that straight in. Don't worry about it. Not a problem. And you're now thinking there's too much liquid in that. And it'll boil, it'll evaporate, it'll go nice. Give it a stir up, whack the heat up so we can get some heat into it, start it boiling up. Now I know what you're thinking, you're looking at that and going well that's like crap. start to boil don't worry about it it might look like a lot of water and I know when you do this correctly and all that rubbish you put a little bit in stir it in let it cook out bit in stir it in and all that lot. if you want to spend an hour and a half doing this crack on as it says and I said it in the last video it's easy cooking this I'm not trying to give you anything that you can't do yourself Things will take time, this is going to take time, it takes a while for the, for the rice to cook out. Even though we are on a boil now, you're still talking by the time we get everything else into this, it's still going to take about 30 minutes, 35 minutes for it to cook. So, it's just ticking over nicely. So we'll just drop it down so it's on a roll, rolling boil. As you can see, it's just starting to boil quite nicely. And if you want to put anything else in this, I mean, if you want to make it a little bit, bit of this in it, worn arm. I know you're supposed to put these and fry them off and all that rubbish when you do a curry. So don't have none of you normal chefs going, I ain't supposed to do that. Do what you want to in cooking. Doesn't matter. As long as the flavours are there and as long as it tastes all right and it looks all right. What's the problem about how you do it? This is what knocks me off about chefing. It's like a lot of things in photography. Don't get me started. The wife's on the other side shaking her head. Cooking's one of them things. Yes, there's certain ways to do things when you're in a restaurant and all that lot. But if you're at home cooking for the family, it doesn't matter. Play with it. Get all your herbs and spices out and go, right, what can I put together? Which two of them things do I see on a packet usually together? So you could turn around and say, let's have a look. Bit of turmeric, bit of cumin. Well, they're usually in curries. Garam masala is usually in a curry. What else have we got on here? Nutmeg, cinnamon, uh, more cumin. Paprika. So there's some paprika. Uh, we have some chilli, some chilli flakes. I have some thyme and some mint. And that's all I have. But there's nothing to stop you from putting that lot in there. It's just how much you put in there. If you put a full one of these in there, it's gonna taste like. But if you put a little bit in there, and you think, oh, well, that doesn't taste too bad, that. Could have done with a little bit more. Then next time you do it, you put a little bit more in until you find out what you like. And that's when you start to experiment properly with food. It doesn't matter about what the recipes say. If a, you're not gonna, when I do a lasagna, and I'm going to do one from scratch, you will see that it's nothing like you've seen. Yes, there's tomatoes in it. Yes, there's herbs in it. Yes, there's garlic in it. And that's my phone going bing. But apart from that, it's going to be me playing with some mints and some tomato puree and some tomatoes with grated carrot and the like. So don't worry about messing around with food. Just have a play. It's one of them things. If you can do this, do it. If you can't, don't. You don't have to put all the ingredients we're putting in. People have loads and loads. I'm a chef by trade, that's what I do for a living. And I know there's loads of allergies out there, so people won't like some things that go in this, or things that are, they might be allergic to. 
don't use them that's up to you. you you know your kids you know yourself if you can't have it substitute it and by now you should know what you can and can't use anyway so that's the, the rant over let's get back some cooking so as you can see it's just cooking away quite nicely the rice is starting to come up and i'm just going to put a little bit more turmeric in it to it not much just a little bit now i did say in the first video that i was either going to cook chicken pasta or the lasagna um as you can tell that hasn't happened we said chicken pasta at the door and she went nah i'd rather i don't want a curry and rah, rah, rah. Was that though? So we don't want that though. What can I do? I can't force it down. <coughs> Again. You know what I mean? Not expensive. It's probably a good good five a day in there. Bring that back up for the boil. At least I'm trying to feed the kids some veg. Right, chicken, I'm just going to cut this up, not too big, not too small, so you've got some diet, nice chunks. I mean, there's chunks in it anyway, but I just want to make them a little, just a little bit more, about the same size. That way they'll all warm through when I put them in this. And yes, go on, start bastardizing me about that as well. You're not supposed to warm chicken up. Bullshit. As long as the chicken is warmed up properly, you can warm it up once. And I do mean once. Get your mum out of the way, you. People say hi. Missy, say hi. Right, as you can see from this now, it's starting to get all soaked up. All the juices are starting to soak into the rice. So what I'm going to just drop the temperature just down a little bit. And I'm going to put the chicken and the mushrooms in. Yes, mushrooms. There's not mushroom in there, but it's all right. <laughs> so, mushrooms in. That's how you do that. Mushrooms and chicken in. Right, and it's at this point that I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in. <sighs> what? So a little bit of pepper, and I'm going to put a little bit of salt in. I'll just come back and revisit and put some more in if we need to. Now, see how all the liquid's starting to go? There's a lot less liquid in there than there was. You just got to keep on going, let it cook out. Oh, yeah, liquid's starting to go now, so it'll just be a case of cooking it out and add the finishing touches. Well, as you can see, it's been cooking away for about 15 minutes max, I think it is. All the liquid's gone, the rice is cooked out, everything else is warm through. So, finishing touches. In this family, we like cheese a lot. So, as usual, I'm going to put a bit of this in, and all this is going to do is just give it a little bit, a little bit of creaminess. When I say a little bit, I do mean about a third of a tub, a third of a tub-ish. All there is, it's garlic and herb, 45% less fat as well. So if you're following any specific dietary type thing that you can pay for and all that lot, fine. I can put the calories down for things like this, I can put the fat contents down for this. So if you wanted to have a go at this, you think it's something that you'd quite like, and go and turn it off before it burns. <laughs> if that's what you want me to do, I can do that. Just means we're gonna have to buy some scales, because I don't weigh nothing, as you know, as you're saying. But there's nothing to stop me from doing that. If it's going to help people out, I can do it. 
where I can do recipes that could help you lose weight by substituting things with other things or I could do whatever but we'll go into that later on this is video two or three so we don't worry about it plenty of time plenty of time so that's done that looks done so let's dish Can't be crispy, get out of